In cold water, a group of firefighters is being praised for answering a call and possibly saving a life, not just for who they rescued, but how they revived them as well. He says David Horak has this story all new at 5. Yeah, that call came in Saturday morning from a pet owner concerned that their puppy might have overdosed on their prescription fentanyl patch. We run on unique calls all the time. Uh, this one was just one of those out of the ordinary, I would say more than, than the usual. Branch County dispatchers told the owner to get to the Coldwater Fire Department, whose C platoon started working on saving the little one's life. The owner must have known that the dog got into a fentanyl patch. So with that information, it makes us, our treatment, pretty, pretty straightforward. The captain and crew on duty gave the puppy a shot of Narcan, which turned out to be positive. Anytime you save a puppy, I mean, that, that really doesn't get much better, does it? News of their quick and successful thinking spread fast, including to WMED professor of emergency medicine, William Fales, who gives credit to everyone who recognized the overdose during this medical emergency. Uh, naloxone can't help anyone if we don't recognize it. So uh, just like in a puppy, in a child, or in an adult, you know, a depressed level of consciousness, and particularly respiratory depression, where the breathing slows and becomes much more shallow. That really is a take-home message that there could be an opioid overdose. Schmaltz added he is proud of his C platoon for saving this little one's life. And we went above and beyond of, of what their normal training is. Um, they thought outside the box and we had a successful outcome. Great news is that the puppy is fine and back home now. And this could have been bad news. So coming up at 6, we'll break it down how the timing and the application of the treatment was crucial for both the chief and from WMET. For now, reporting in Kalamazoo, David Horak, News 8.